KSL News at 6 starts now. Our top story tonight, three different crashes of vehicles crashing into buildings in less than 24 hours. One of those claiming the life of an innocent bystander. That crash happening in West Valley City where police say a teenager driving a stolen car crashed into a home hitting a man. And tonight we're learning more about the victim as friends and family mourn this sudden loss. News specialist Shelby Lofton spoke with some of his neighbors. Neighbors tell me the victim in this incident lived right across the street from where it happened. I've seen people coming in and out of this home all day, paying their respects to his family. A lot of noise, a lot of cars, a lot of speed. That's what people living on Lehigh Drive heard Thursday night. The ones who do the damage aren't the ones that live here. West Valley City Police say a 15-year-old driving a stolen car lost control on the curve of this street, hitting and killing 24-year-old Adrian Hernandez Rodriguez. She just kept saying, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Chris Bonilla owns the damaged home his mother lives in. My mom saw the, the car when it was coming. Um, she was able to close the door and, and run in, but unfortunately the kid got, got hit. He says Hernandez Rodriguez looked out for her 70-year-old mother. Kid was always uh, keeping an eye on her and uh, would take her to church whenever my mom would need a ride. She invited him over for food. Asked him to come and get some pupusas and and it was it, it just happened really quick. Chris says his mother is physically okay, but she's traumatized by what she saw. This was not just a following. This was a high-speed chase, and for. Uh, police to get into a neighborhood where anything can happen, you know, it, it was pretty unsafe on their part. He says the victim's family is devastated. Right place, wrong time. And as for the woman who lives in this house, she will need to find a new place to live. Her son told me the damage here is far too extensive for her to come back here. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.